Hi, Mike Panaki here. And recently, somebody asked me about a good way to test a new internet connection using the Link Runner G2. So in this tech tip, we're going to go through how we can run a test to make sure that we can get to the resources we need to get to and we're getting the speed that we want to get. So over here, I've got my Link Runner G2. So in this case, I've got the copper ethernet connection plugged into my cable modem and I'm all ready to go and start testing. Now, before I start doing my testing, what I did was I went in and loaded the speed test app up on the Link Runner G2. And I did this by going out to the NetAlly App Store, searching for speed test, finding a speed test app, installing it, and then moving it to the home screen of my Link Runner G2. So now that I have my speed test application loaded up and I've got my Link Runner G2 connected to my internet connection, I'm ready to come in here and run my test. So I'm going to click on the Net Ally icon here at the bottom of the screen. And I want to go in and put in a couple of targets that are important to me. So to do that, I'm going to select my menu. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to drag it down here to where I get to targets. And we want to go in and we want to add a target. So I'm going to tap on add target and it says enter IP address or URL. So I'm going to say secure.email srvr.com. That's my email server. I'll hit OK. And I'm going to do a TCP connection test. And we're going to connect to port 993. And that is one of the ports I use for SMT, or I think that's IMAPS S. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in one more target. Actually, we're going to copy this one. We're going to make that really easy. So I'm going to say duplicate. And then I'm just going to change the port to 465. That's the other port that I use. I want to make sure that I can get to my email server from this internet connection. So now I'll go back. We'll click back here and we'll run our test. So we're out here, we're running our test and we see that we're connected at gig. We got an IP address from our cable modem. We got our DNS server. We got to our default gateway. We got to Google. We got to our email server and our results were loaded up to link live. Now I want to run my speed test because it's not good enough just to know that we have the connectivity we need, but we also want to make sure we're getting the speed that we expect. So I'm going to click on my home screen and there is our speed test icon that we had installed from the app store. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to test again. I'd already run the test once just to make sure everything was going to work for the tech, this tech tip. So now we're going out and we're connecting to Comcast. We're doing our throughput test. Now I expect about 170 megabits per second. So here we see that we're getting our 170 megabits per second down. I expect about 23 up. So let's see how we're doing there. Eh, we're getting pretty close. So we have other traffic that's going across here. We're testing this in the middle of the day. For a new connection, we'd expect to get whatever contracted speeds we have. Now, I got 171 down and I got my 23 up. That's great. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a screenshot of this test result. So let's come over here and I'm going to press the volume down and power buttons at the same time. And that takes a screenshot of my test result. So we're going to come back out to our home screen, go out to my apps. I'm going to go to gallery and I'm going to click on this little green stack right here. Let me click there again. 
and it says link live where do i want to share that i'm going to save this to the last test result what that's doing is it's uploading that image to link live and attaching it to the test result in link live so now i'm going to come over here and i'm going to grab i'm going to, we're going to go over into link live now that we're in link live what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to take a look at our test result so right here i can see the test result i can see the link speed i can see the switch i was connected to my dhcp information my dns information default gateway i can see i was able to connect to google and my email server and right down here at the bottom i can see my attachment that screenshot showing I got the speed I expected. So now I can come down here and I can click. Well, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this first. If I clicked on report without selecting that, it would generate a report on all 4,000 results I have. So I'm gonna click on this result. I'm gonna come down to the lower right-hand corner. I'm gonna click on my tools, generate PDF. And we're going to click Generate. Now, I need to make sure that I include images. If I don't do that, I'm not going to get those speed test results. So I'm going to click on Include Images. I'm going to hit Generate. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to generate a report and put it in my uploaded files directory. So if we come over here to our files, we're going to see that's processing. Now, in just a second, That'll stop processing, and we're going to be able to take a look at that report. All right, now that it's completed processing, we can see our test results right here. We've got all of the tests that we ran in there, and down here we have the speed test. So I could download this PDF, or I could print it right from here. So the important thing out of running this test is that we were able to validate our internet connection and show that we are able to connect to the devices out on the internet we need to connect to, and we were able to get the speed we expect out of that connection. So this is how we can use the Link Runner G2 to validate our internet connections. Thanks for watching this tech tip, and be sure to check out the other tech tips out on netally.com.